Hi, I'm Lawrence Russell from Satellite Evolution Group. I'm here at Asia Tech Singapore with Nicholas Cape from AnyWaves. Nick, how's the show going? Extremely well. It's a very good place to be. A lot of people, a lot of potential customers, so we are very happy. Wonderful. Uh, could you tell us about the company's latest successes? What's out these days? Uh, these days we have new products that are available, a uh, new S-band antenna that is coming, new X-band antenna that is coming and also test caps that can fit on that in order to allow our customer to reduce the cost of the tests once the satellite is assembled and maybe soon there will be also big news so don't uh, hesitate to follow us because we have new developments especially for payloads antennas. Brilliant. We just came straight from a panel where you talked about some very interesting stuff about uh, laser comm versus RF or along a lot of other things. But could you recap some of the uh, trade-offs that you were talking about there? Yes, definitely, because both technologies have advantages but some weakness. If we take, for example, uh, radio frequencies, so antennas, we know that the spectrum is very limited and we have to be very creative in order to reuse that spectrum and make it more and more uh, available to enhance the capabilities of radio frequency links. Uh, one extremely big advantage of radio frequencies is that it can go through the clouds. So for all applications that require point-to-point -point communication, radio frequencies is and will be and will stay uh, the, the solution. And also because due to all the technological developments on the ground, it can allow to have very cost-effective, low-price terminal user in order to magnify the, all the services and applications in telecoms, in navigations, etc. etc. Regarding uh, laser comms, they are highly capacitive in terms of data rates uh, and for me they are going to find a good place for inter-satellite links, uh, probably also in the future for feeder links uh, for very big uh, satellites. If you have a lot of uh, uh, sites on the ground in order uh, to get the availability of the signals to balance this, uh, I would say, uh, uh, cloud uh, effects and cut of the, of the links, and both are going to enhance the global satellite system capabilities. Interesting. What can you tell us, uh, what can we expect from the future of AnyWaves going forward? So, our job uh, is now to deliver as maximum and equip as maximum of uh, satellites uh, worldwide. And this is what uh, we are going to do. And now we are focused on payload antennas. Because payload antennas, when you have a good antenna with a lot of gain, it can save a lot of energy at your platform level. And this is a critical point in order to make more and more capacitive use of small satellites. Nicolas Capet, thank you very much for your time today. Thanks a lot.